Xcode 26 now has a built-in support for GPT-5. So in this video, I want to show you how to get started with GPT-5 directly inside your Xcode 26 project. Using GPT-5 directly in Xcode 26 requires the installation of macOS Tahoe. So you should sign into your Apple developer account and scroll down and go to the download section. First, you go to the operating systems category and install macOS 26. Then you should go to applications and over here you download Xcode 26. Next, you should go to your Mac settings and ensure Apple intelligence is turned on. So over here, you select the option Apple intelligence and Siri and turn on Apple intelligence. I have already launched an Xcode project. To use GPT-5 in Xcode, we should go to the code assistant panel by clicking this button. New in Xcode 26, you can now start a new conversation with GPT-5. Once you launch the code assistant panel, you get GPT-5 by default in Xcode 26. You can use the model in Xcode without signing in or you can also sign in with your OpenAI account. To do that, you go to the Xcode settings. You have noticed I have already configured Xcode to use ChatGPT under a limit. So clicking that, I can sign in with my OpenAI account. Since we are not doing any serious AI code generation, let's leave it without signing in. At the bottom left and right of the assistant panel, there are a couple of options. Over here, we can upload files or add a content from the project. This button allows you to search the project for context. We can also click this button to apply changes automatically. Once the assistant finishes generating your code, let's look at a simple GPT-5 usage in Xcode 26. I created this reaction animation long time ago. So let's use GPT-5 to make some changes. If I scroll down, you have noticed here, it uses with animation and dispatch queue to animate both the heart icon and the thumbs up icon. So let's add a prompt over here to modify the code to use face animator in SwiftUI. If I go to the project navigator, you have noticed here the file name is heart and thumb best. So over here, I have added that as context. I'll press the return key to send the prompt and wait for a moment until the code generation is done. So over here, we have the generated code. It should have applied that automatically. However, the changes were not applied automatically. So let's copy everything here and try to replace what we have. You have noticed the heart emoji now uses face animator view for the animation. If I scroll down, the thumbs up emoji also uses face animator view for the animation. It modified the animation slightly. However, we can go to each of the animations and make some changes. Another way to use GPT-5 directly in Xcode 26 is to use ChatGPT chat bar. First, you make sure you have the ChatGPT app for macOS installed on your machine. Next, you should launch the ChatGPT app. Let's hide the code assistant here and the project navigator. Inside anywhere in the code, I will press option and space bar to bring ChatGPT chat bar. Once you bring the chat bar, you have noticed here the file name has automatically been added as a context. Using ChatGPT chat bar becomes more useful because over here we have more options than using the Xcode 26 code assistant I showed previously. Over here, you can also use voice input. And as you have noticed here, we have GPT-5 as the model. You can click that to change it to any of these options. So these are the various ways you can use GPT-5 directly in Xcode 26.